What's up, guys? Good morning. It is Ryan Rigg, the host of your show. It's Friday. That means another episode of Fridays with Fell. We do this every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. We try to deliver the latest tech news, gaming news, and any other relative tech or gaming greatness I can find out there on the interwebs. Each new week, I try to deliver it to you. So without fail, without further ado, let's get into today. To let's get into let's get into today's brand new episode. It's always a tongue twister, but that's the great thing about Fridays with Fell. It's kind of relaxed. It's Friday morning. We take kind of a more gentle approach to things, you know? So let's start off with just a reminder. We talked about this last week. Don't know if you saw it. Don't want to spend a lot of time on it. As we near 100,000 subscribers, which I hope will happen at the end of this year, we're going to be doing an Xbox One and PS4 giveaway. We talked about this at the tail end of last week's episode, so make sure you go check that out. If you missed it, I know it seems far away and, and an ambitious goal, but I think we'll achieve it, and by achieving it, we'll reward you guys, all a Team Fell Nation, with an Xbox One or a PS4 giveaway. And don't forget, anytime you guys want to order Team Fell Nation wristbands or Gaming for Grandpa wristbands, you can on our website. Um, you can also order shirts and anything like that. All of that will be linked down below. But let's start off with, guys, some tech news, because that's what we got to get into uh, yesterday was announced the Asus RT AC5300. I know this looks like a spaceship of a router, but it's a brand new wireless router. It's a tri-band router uh, with eight different antennas. So I know it looks kind of you know, futuristic and spaceship, but Asus actually guarantees some pretty amazing performance. The model number AC5300 actually stands for 5.3 gigahertz uh, combined speed on the wireless network, meaning when, this, uh, when you have a device connected wirelessly to this on the 2.4 gig band, um, in theory, that's going to be at a 1 gig connection. And then on your uh, other bands that you have, you've got your 5 gig band, you're going to have 2.167 megahertz uh, between the two. So you'll have 2.167 on one, 2.167 on the other, and one on the other band. Those three total 5.3, kind of where they got the... AC5300. Don't want to bog you down with specs, but this thing is going to guarantee some serious performance. We use the Asus RT87 right now, uh, the AC2400. We've done a video on the channel. Uh, we'll link it down in the description below, but you can check that out. It's in a solid router. So I'm not sure if we'll make the jump to this one or not, but it does seem pretty cool. A lot of good features there. The tri-band wireless technology. It's got the latest Broadcam or Broadcom chipset inside. It's kind of a little ahead of its time involving wireless technology, but definitely future-proof yourself with this. It's going to be available later this year. Um, also this week, we did a video uh, from our good friends over at Jackery. They had sent out the Titan, so we put together kind of an unboxing, first look, and review of the new Jackery Titan, which was an 18,000 milliamp battery. The video is available on the channel. Not sure if you guys saw it or not, uh, but check it out. Um, a lot of good feedback on it so far. Really good product, and I've been using it every day since then. Getting ready to use it this weekend over the Labor Day weekend uh, to do some overnight time lapses. So you're going to need a strong battery for that, and the Jackery Titan's definitely going to work out. So check that video out. It's available on the channel as well. But moving on, we have the Apple event next week. We talked about this in last week's episode. Again, don't want to spend a whole lot of time with it. But on September 9th, we're going to be doing kind of an Apple event wrap-up, kind of everything you need to know from the Apple events, so make sure you're tuned in and subscribe to the channel. You'll get that video in your inbox next week. We'll kind of just summarize everything that Apple talked about, and we'll break it down for you the fast, electronic, and loud way, the real quick, everything you need to know, and probably a three or four minute video. I'll try to keep it very short and brief, and just uh, narrow in on all the facts from the Apple's keynote next week. So super excited about that, and we'll be watching it live and tweeting as well during it, but make sure you look for that separate video later in the day where we do a summarization basically from the Apple event next week on September 9th. But moving on to some gaming news, and we've got a ton of it today. I wanted to talk about, we posted a video this week of the Black Ops 3 beta, kind of what our thoughts were. We had roughly 12 days, you know, six days on the PS4, six days on the Xbox One. We kind of wanted to evaluate in the short amount of maps that we had in the short amount of time, you know, limited maps. We had three maps at first. Then a fourth map came, a couple different game types. So without uh, playing campaign or zombies, eh, we can't really give a full review, but of the beta itself, we had a pretty good review of it. So that video is available on the channel. It uh, went live, I believe, two days ago. So check that out. It's available. Just uh, kind of my thoughts on 
Black Ops 3 beta. You know, it's coming from the perspective of somebody who does play a lot of Call of Duty, so definitely worth checking out. So, also, this week, Forza Motorsport 6, the demo, is available now on Xbox One. You can check that out. It's available for everybody. You're going to get three races. You know, you can kind of buy a car, get three races. You can do an IndyCar race, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there's some challenge rivals that are going on. And if you go to like Forza Motorsports uh, Facebook page, they've got actually a competition going on right now in one of the rival races where you can actually join a team and then be entered into a contest. So I'll link that down below in the description. But very sweet. We've been tearing it up a little bit on the Forza Motorsports 6 demo on the Gaming for Grandpa channel. So if you're not familiar with that channel, it's also one of our channels and it's linked down below and you can check out some gameplay from the brand new Forza Motorsports 6. And we're just about a week away from getting that game. So we're very excited about to be able to bring you some content. Moving on, we have this brand new Xbox One Elite. That is correct. This is a brand new Xbox One Elite that has uh, been offered. It'll come out later this year, actually on November 3rd. And it's going to be 20% faster. Reason being, it's got a one terabyte, a new solid state hybrid drive. So when your Xbox is kind of like in power save mode, you're going to get back to the action 20% faster with that new solid state hybrid drive. It does also come bundled with that Elite wireless controller, which is awesome because that's kind of like a competitive gaming controller. It's got paddles on the back, they're remappable, very rugged design. We've talked about this in past episodes. We'll have the product uh, linked down below because the controller is available for purchase separately. But in the new Xbox One Elite bundle, it is all going to come together on November 3rd. So you're going to get the Elite controller, the new Xbox One, which has that one terabyte solid state hybrid drive in it. So you're going to get some better performance on that and one terabyte gives you ample storage. That's available, like I said, November 3rd, and they have it priced at $499, which is pretty good because the controller by itself is $149, and the standard Xbox One is $350. So you're kind of getting some savings, and you're getting a little bit better hard drive and some better performance. So pretty good deal. It'll be linked down below. That's how we do it here at Fast Electronic Lab. we got to give you guys all of the latest and greatest as it comes out every Friday morning. Also, for those that pre-ordered, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Nuketown, yes, Nuketown has officially been announced. It's going to be included as like a code, so basically there'll be an insert inside your game. If you've pre-ordered, it'll be a code on a piece of paper. You can then use that to download the new Nuketown map. So it's pretty crazy with that map coming back and being remade. We talked about it last week, but it is 100% confirmed this week from Activision. Brand new Nuketown is going to be available when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 3, yes! The next three months are going to get awesome with gaming and tech and just all the Apple greatness next week. I just can't wait. Also this week on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on Xbox One, three new weapons. That's correct. Three new weapons have been added, and a lot of them are fan favorites from past. We've got the AK-47, the M16, and we got the Cell, basically the CEL3, which was from Zombies, which has been brought over. It's kind of an automatic directed energy shotgun. So three new weapons, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Started uh, on September 1st, available first on Xbox One, and then here in about a month on PS4 and PC. But you can check out, we did a video on the Gaming for Grandpa channel. We opened an advanced supply drop and got an M16 variant, the Sweet 16 variant, on our very first supply drop. So it was pretty sweet. Check out the Gaming for Grandpa channel, and you can see that video. It's pretty awesome. We're capturing gameplay with that. Uh, but we also jumped over to the PS4 because the brand new Reckoning DLC is finally available today on or yesterday on PC and PS4. So the last final DLC map pack number four available now on PS4 and PC. We're downloading it for Gaming for Grandpa, getting some gameplay uploaded from the new maps on the PS4, which is sweet. A lot of gaming greatness going on this week. And I know I talked fast through the episode, but if you need to go back and watch it again, you can because here we are at the tail end of it. Wanted to jam pack as much as I can and not take too much of your time. I know with everybody traveling, uh, Labor Day weekend in North America, the United States is, uh, by the numbers, traditionally the most traveled holiday. So we want to make sure everybody is safe, you know, whether you're going back home from school or going back to school, taking some time away from family, just taking some time for yourself or working, just whatever you're doing, please be safe this weekend. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode, but I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Fridays with Fell. We do this every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. But if, like I said, if you did enjoy the episode, please click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, help us get to 100,000 subscribers, and we will reward two lucky people with an Xbox One 
and a PS4 in our new upcoming giveaway. So really appreciate everybody tuning in. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of time away on your Labor Day weekend. But thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys.